A switch works hard, directing traffic within the network while still making sure to optimize communication, enhance security, filter out unnecessary traffic, and more. It's a big job. If performance is slow or you're running into issues, a quick reboot using the reload command may help clear up any glitches. If problems persist or you just want a fresh start with your switch, you can do a complete factory reset. A factory reset removes all existing configurations and restores the switch back to the original default settings. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll show you how to factory reset CBS 250 and 350 switches using the command line interface, CLI. Next. Before I dig in, I have a few things I wanna mention. First, if you prefer to manually reset your switch, click the link in the description to be brought to that video. If you are new to CLI and aren't sure how to connect with PuTTY, the terminal emulator that will be used today, there's a link in the description for a video with more details. Once you've accessed your switch using PuTTY, you can view the configuration set on your switch by entering the command show run. You can see that this switch has some VLANs along with port assignments. To factory reset the switch, the first thing you need to do is delete the startup configuration. Use the command delete startup-config to make this happen. Type in Y to confirm. You can see that the file has now been deleted. The next step is to reboot the switch. Enter the reload command. You'll be asked if you want to save your changes. Since you just deleted the startup configuration, enter Y for yes. Next, a prompt will inform you that this command will reset the whole system and disconnect your current session. It will ask if you want to continue. Type in Y for yes. The switch will shut down and then reboot. Once it comes back up, the switch should be reset to factory default. One way to confirm that the reset worked is to enter the default credentials of Cisco, all lowercase, for both the username and password. Immediately following that login, it will have you set a new username and password. This is for security purposes. Be sure to follow the guidelines listed. To further confirm the factory reset, enter the command show running dash config. Now, all you should see is the default configuration. That's all there is to it. A clean slate that is ready for any new configurations you may need. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.